Hey there everybody, in this tutorial we're going to go over exactly how to create a Facebook page. We're going to go through all the steps that you need to do to create a Facebook page for your business. And we're going to talk about some really helpful tools that help you to create images and um, all the settings that you're going to need to set up to make sure that your Facebook business page is complete. So let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you're looking to get into Facebook for business and use it for your business to grow, or if you're looking to sell anything online, this is a great channel for you. I suggest that you subscribe here. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you need any additional help, feel free to comment on this video as well. I do daily marketing videos here where I create tutorials and walkthroughs on everything related to digital marketing. So if you need help with Facebook or pay-per-click ads on Google, or email marketing, all kinds of topics related to digital marketing, this is a great channel for you. All right, so let's get into this video today. So Facebook is one of the best hands-down platforms for business. And so in order to do any kind of business-related activity, you have to have a business page. So we're going to jump into the computer here. I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook page. You're going to need a Facebook profile. So if you don't have a Facebook profile, you have to create one. I know a lot of people don't want to create a Facebook profile. If you haven't done so already, it's 2019. There's probably a good reason for it. It's not like the whole internet's going to come and find you if you're on there, though. So um, if you're not comfortable with having a personal profile, that's okay. You don't have to maintain the personal profile. But to have a business page, you absolutely have to have a, a um, Facebook account. And the only way to do that is to sign up personally. So you're going to want to go to Facebook and sign up, first of all. So once that's done, let's jump into the computer. I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so once you've signed up for a Facebook account, what you're going to want to do is scroll down on the sidebar here and click on Pages. Once you get to this page, you're going to hit the Create Page button, and you're going to either choose Business or Brand, Community or Public Figure, and that depends specifically on your business. Now, I'm going to be doing this for a business or a brand, and my page name will be Maverick Digital Marketing. I'm choosing Video Creator because I publish di digital marketing videos here, and I'm going to be using that. But depending on your business, you're going to want to choose a category that's similar. Now, the you have two different pictures here. You have a profile picture, which is the square image over here in the corner, and then you have a background image or background video. So you can add both of those. Now, if you don't have a, an image, Canva is a great tool that you can use to help create graphics for your business. Now, they have preset designs here based on the size. So we have social media here. You have posts, stories, posts. The pictures are square, so you can use this Instagram post as a square one. But you also have your banners that you can use inside of here, like a, a Facebook banner, and use that for, right, right here is the Facebook cover that you'd be using to click and you can edit a Facebook cover. I already have my logo and I'm going to be using a logo specifically. So I'm gonna to get to it right now. And I'm also gonna add a cover photo, which is the background here. And you can edit this at any time. So if you wanna change it, don't feel nervous about that either. You can edit it at any time. So the image that I'm going to be uploading here is a large sized image. Um, and I'd wanna make sure that it's uh, being positioned correctly, so I'm going to test this first. But if, if you want to go ahead and create something inside of Canva, then that's helpful um, to do. So let's do upload cover image. The problem was it was in a different spot. So I have my logo here, which is a square size logo. And I wanted to add this cover photo. And you can reposition it. And now we have the page set up. So we have to create a page username. And this cannot be changed. So you want to make sure that it's done. People are going to be able to see this. So at Maverick Digital Marketing, that is going to be mine. You want to make it specific to yours. 
So the next thing that you're going to want to do is edit the page info and you're going to want to go through and complete this as much as possible. Add a description about your, your page. So I'm putting in additional categories, input the phone number, save the website. So here I've gone through and I've filled out all of the relevant information to the best of my abilities. I'll add additional items here, now like biography and awards, things like that. But for now you get the picture. We're adding basic information here and want to make sure that that is as complete as possible. So now your page is set up. If you ever want to edit things, you can just click on the elements that you want to edit. You can also go into settings here. I'm just going to run down these different tabs here so that you can get a, a feel for all of the different sections here. We have the ad center. So if you want to create ads for your page now, you're able to do that. And it's giving you insights on the ads that you have. The inbox is where people can message you um, and message your brand specifically. Notifications are new things that are happening. People that are engaging with your posts and your content and things like that. So, for example, I just liked my page that I just created. And we have insights, and this shows you how many people have taken actions on your page, liked, commented, shared, posted, 
all of that good stuff. So you can see based on the different things you have over here on the side, you can create and, and follow benchmarks that you create for yourself. So that's a, a cool thing. And publishing tools, this is where you have all of the content that you've published. You can see how people engage with it and you can grow your business based on seeing what people are engaging with and making more of what's popular. Here you have page quality. You can see if you start to have people that are reporting your content, you can see reportings on that. And then lastly, you have settings here. And these are all of the different things that you can change here. You can change your category. You can change your page layouts here. And so for example, here's the templates and tabs. You can change it right now. It's a video page. Um, you can do a services company, a business, venues, nonprofits, politicians. So based on whatever you're looking to do, they're going to give you different elements inside of a template. So services will be based on what you can offer and, and things like that. Um, so if you wanted to have buttons on this page or these different tabs, here's all the tabs that you can offer and, and have. And you'll be able to basically use all of those features associated with that. So choose the one that's correct for your business type. It's going to have the, the most features that are relevant to you and your business. And the post attribution here is going to let you post as yourself or your page and setting it up so that you're posting as your page by default. That way, when you go into Facebook, you don't have to go into business manager or something. You, when you start to respond to people, it's posting as your company notification settings. If you're getting too many notifications, you can turn them off. Um, messenger platform here, you can set your, your default away messages and, um, you can also add ManyChat and other messaging platforms here as a primary messenger. Page roles, if you have any employees, here's how you do that. You assign them a new new page role by entering their email and then choosing the level that you would like for them to do. Uh, analyst is the lowest. Advertiser allows them to run ads and respond to ads. Moderator is higher than that. Um, it just helps let you ban people and things of that nature. Editor lets you post things and admin lets you have ownership of the page. Do not assign admin unless you absolutely know the person and you know that there's no way that they would steal it from you. Just wanted to make that note there. Very, very important. People in other pages, you can see who you've banned here. You can see who likes the page and, and follows your page there. This is data on the audience that you're looking to grow. Um, and you can do age restrictions and things like that if you need age restrictions. Authorizations are for um, different kinds of political ads. And if you want to run any kind of political ads, you have to get approved to do so. And then branded contact content. Um, this just lets you decide whether or not you want to be tagged in other posts. Instagram allows you to sign into your Instagram account. And it's important that you connect both of them. Instagram is a widely, widely successful and popular platform. And then featuring other pages, cross posting, which allows you to add pages where they'll be able to post your content. And then if you have any support items that you need help with. All right, so that wraps it up. If you have any questions or comments, need help with anything in starting your Facebook page, please comment below. Happy to help. And if you would like to see other marketing videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I create all kinds of marketing videos. A great place to start is the marketing tutorials. And you can actually see that up in the top right-hand corner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.